go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow, Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Got our official sponsor, Greenwood Stock Trading. If you want to learn how to make some passive income, some extra money, so you can invest in your future, your kids' future, give them a call for a free 10 minute consultation, 281 760 3170. Go get to the bag. All right, man. Javante Davis is the new uh, it's PBC Showtime, whatever you want to call him. He's the new ace in the bullpen there. You know, he's he surpassed Deontay Wilder. He surpassed uh, Errol Spence. Um, you know, and he, he is the PBC's new ace in the bullpen. He their new star. He who they trying to push. You know, since April of last year, when Errol Spence fought, Javante Davis is going to be fighting. If the Ryan Garcia fight come on, come through, he fought three times since Errol Spence been back in the ring once. You know, Errol Spence posted, "Well, I don't apologize for the inactivity. Hopefully, it all makes sense in a few weeks." You know, but right now it seems like Tank is the preferred guy, and Tank might have a deal with a network deal with Showtime. So it seems like Tane Davis is the new star over at PBC. You know, that's what they pushing. Um, obviously they protecting him from Ryan Garcia with all the the added, you know, stipulations and shit. Like I said in my other video, you got a lot of people who saying, well Ryan signed this, so you can't hear no complaint, but if the shoe was on the other foot. You know, people be calling Ryan Garcia all types of shit. All I ask is people to be consistent. I ain't trying to hear y'all colorism bullshit neither, man. Because a lot of y'all that had, you know, y'all don't believe in what y'all be really saying like that. You know, I just leave it at that. So, um, it's always the exception for you or, or somebody that you like or whatever. And I don't get down like that. It is what it is. A spade is a spade. But, but yeah, he the he the new he the he the new flavor over. The only thing that can fuck this up is him. You know, that's the only thing. Cause he got preferences over Wilder. I don't think Showtime want nothing to do with Wilder no more. I don't know why. If that's actually the case, but I don't think they fuck with Wilder no more. You know. You know, and Errol Smith just came back from uh, Fox. He was off a few years ago. And all of a sudden, Javante Davis can get, you know, three pay-per-views in a row. Errol Smith can't even get one. You know, we know he's fighting Keith Thurman. So he can talk about, you know, hopefully it all makes sense and this, that, and the third. And, you know, anybody in their right mind don't believe he going to take a whole, over a year off and then fight Bud. Blood than fought. And if that's the case, now who the fool? We allow him to fight. We probably would allow him to take the fight. We allow another grown man to do something who don't have a binding contract with y'all. You know, get the fuck up out of here. Get up out of here. These dudes be talking all that greasy shit, man. A lot of them niggas over there, they, they barely making it, bro. They making it off the strength of they, they, they allowances they get every day or off the advances Al Heyman get them. That's how they making it. But, you know, and, and Tank Davis is, is who they pushing now. He get all the dates. He get all the preferences. You know? And Earl Spence is a thing of the past. And you say, well, you know, why I didn't work with Earl Spence? I mean, apparently a lot of people support Tank East to West. You know, you can say, oh, he had Mayweather co-signing him. You know, and, and that and that probably did that probably meant a lot to him, it meant a lot for him. But he can punch, you know, and you know for some reason he got the look. I don't understand how it worked today like that, but. You know, Mayweather did help him get a lot of exposure. And Earl Spence ain't been nothing but a walking contradiction. And he ain't been nothing but a, a, a walking mistake. It's been mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake. I sure forgot I had to get gas. I'm going way out. 
I want to get gas in the burbs. <laughs> but yeah, he been he been a walking he been a walking contradiction. Tank is, is is what they doing. They both get, go back and forth from doing dumb shit, you know. But you know now they gonna start pushing Tank, and Tank, tank seem to be able to pick where he want to play with at the board. And the best thing they can do for you know both of them is to keep them as active as possible. But the one thing they got working against Tank Davis is that he had a smaller weight class, and historically people don't buy those fucking pay per views. It's got to be welterweight, 60, 75, heavyweight. Really welterweight and heavyweight, to be real. Now, I know Oscar and Floyd fought at 54, but you know, Floyd really was 104, uh, really was 147 pounds. So, come on, man. He really was 147 pounds, so. But, but yeah, it's tank time. Tank is the new ace in the bullpen. Um, you know. He who they pushing, he who having on getting the pay-per-views, he who fighting on a consistent basis, you know, he they willing to go out there and make the, the fights for him, you know, they willing to go all out for Tank Davis. They willing to go all out for Tank Davis. And I ain't mad at it. You know, Nero Spence taking the back seat, the stanky tanky. Uh, but you know he's talking about well I don't apologize for the inactivity I mean yeah you ain't gonna apologize that's something that's not in your control at all and inactivity is what's killing their careers it's what kills his star power and that's how you can tell they really pushing tank cause he fighting on a consistent basis when he wanna fight but as much as they try to add this shit up you know, as much as they try to, you know, reinvent the wheel and try to make superstars without taking the fights that need to be taken, they still ain't going to have no true superstars. And they can blame it on piracy. They can blame it on the digital era of marketing and promoting. They can blame it on whatever they want to blame it on. They can blame it on boxing fans, right? But what we do know is you can't. There's no formula in boxing where you can create a superstar without taking the tough fights. It's none. It's none. It's none. No matter if it's Earl Spence, Tank Davis, Terrence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez, whoever it may be, the tough fights have to be have to be you know. They have to be took. And what's so funny, fans that have zero interest in boxing or casual interest in boxing, they know when a fight is a good fight, a great fight, a big event. They know. They know. They know. So no, no matter how much they trying to dress it up and try to sell you know, uh, uh, shit as a, as a hundred dollar meal, like it's an ultra prime, you know, it's, it's shit. It's a shit show. And people know. And then when they pull up, put up, put up, put on a good event that, you know, a uh, best fight and the best in their opinion, and people don't just buy it, they get mad because they ain't grown the fighters the right way. You can't groom somebody getting 300,000 views, 400,000 views, 500,000 views. You know? You can't. You can't. Deontay Wilder and everybody else got to get behind, get behind him. 
while they fighting and struggling for days, going overseas, meeting with people to put the money up for their fight because they ain't willing to put no money up for the fight. You know? They finding money for Tank Davis. They finding dates for Tank Davis. You know? They strong arming niggas for Tank Davis. Come on, why they talk y'all a lot of the Terrence Crawford fights? They talk y'all out the Anthony Joshua fights, the fights that was essential for y'all to become household names in the sport of boxing. Now y'all sitting there in y'all fucking thirties, just sitting there sad. Looking up to a 27 year old Geronte Tank Davis, a fucking lightweight. Oh, how the tables turn. Oh, how they turn. Come on. Wise words to the kids. Can I live to my last days? Getting money in the fast way. Please say getting girls that be nasty. <laughs> I only care halfway, but I still can't let you pass me. <laughs> Tank Davis and Pastor now, uh, Sheik Luke, aka Earl Spence. <laughs> What's beef to me? <laughs> Come on, man. Man, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We got a live board drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts.